back again for another episode of the Browser Wars series. This is my review on Internet Explorer 9. This is a much anticipated browser. There's been lots of hype over this because, you know, with Firefox and Chrome, there's a new version of the browser coming out quite often. Especially with Chrome, there's always a new version, you know, on the way. Whereas there's, you know, with Internet Explorer, it's a major leap. It's from 7 to 8 to 9, and there's not really much in between as, you know, as far as that goes. So, this is much, much better than Internet Explorer 8, I can tell you from the off. There's a new look, there's a new logo, which you can uh, see here. There's a new logo, which is slightly different, which kind of combines with the um, the look of these buttons up here. So all you've got now up in the way of the uh, user interface, it's very simplistic. You've got the back and forward buttons, you have the address bar, and it, which actually combines as a search bar now, we'll talk about that in a second, refresh and stop, and the compatibility mode button shows up here too. You've got the tabs built in here, which is a shame they haven't used this space up top again like they do in Chrome. I still think more browsers should implement that to save space. And home, favorites, and all the rest of the tools in here. The new tabs page is very similar to uh, Google Chrome. You open a thing, you get this neat little animation, and it shows the sites that you've most recently visited, again, just like Google Chrome. You can hide them and show them, reopen closed tabs from here. You can reopen your last session or go into in private browsing mode. There's a little bar as well which shows you which uh, sites are active and less active. The one thing I don't like about this page is that it doesn't show you an actual thumbnail of the website. Rather than having to read it, I can just see that that's Engadget, I can see that this is Twitter, I can see that this is the themes gallery. Whereas on here I actually have to either look at the picture, or if it doesn't have a picture, then I have to read the URL, which isn't necessarily the best way of going about it. But by default, this is actually a massive space saver. When compared to Google Chrome, it makes Google Chrome look quite bloated, but this is because I have the address bar. I'm sure this can somehow be configured to uh, add an address bar in here somewhere and uh, that would be added onto the bottom here but um, you know I'm sure it would still not take up that much space because the tabs go alongside the address bar under the hood there is heavy HTML5 support much like some other browsers and there is now graphics acceleration which is good because that means much better performance for games and video and Microsoft has signed up over 70 partners so that they can work on their um, GPU hardware acceleration uh, to produce better browsing experience on certain sites so some of these are Facebook, Twitter, eBay, Amazon, CNN and USA Today all these websites have teamed up with Microsoft to make browsing better on Internet Explorer 9 with the GPU acceleration so apart from the new tab thing which is you know a lot better than the last one there is now also a search bar implemented into the address bar. This is pretty much in every other browser. You can do this in Firefox, you can do this in Chrome, you can do it in Safari, you can do it in pretty much any browser under the sun. So it's nice to see that um, the Internet Explorer has actually caught up with the rest of the browsers. So as you can see, it's taken me straight... no it hasn't. It's taken me to Microsoft. So you see, there, you know, it does still uh, have its flaws. Uh, but see it does actually do uh, Google searches unlike Internet Explorer 8 which just took you to URL not found which is really annoying because I'm used to Google Chrome the way you can just uh, you know type in anything and it just comes up and it's, I'm glad to see that this function is now in Internet Explorer because it's something that's been missing for a long time and one of the things that I found very irritating about Internet Explorer 8 it still takes a long time for the browser to open but at the same time it's still quicker than Internet Explorer 8 and you can get straight going if you notice sometimes if you open Internet Explorer 8 and you start typing it will just stop halfway through and then it will be cut off so you have to go back and retype what you have already typed this is not the case in 9 because it starts up and it's ready to type straight away so there's no issues there one thing I don't like is the way you can't close tabs from other tabs. If I open a new tab, there's a cross button here to close off this tab, but not one here. You have to actually right click it and press close tab, or go on it and press that. Whereas in other browsers such as Chrome, you can click them off straight from here, which is, you know, a nice time saver. 
but it's no big issue, it's just, you know, a little feature that they could implement in a future version. Other features include a new download manager, which is found here. This actually searches for viruses, it's got a virus checker, it shows you the location of the download, and it's overall a lot tidier and better than the one that they use currently. It kind of it's kind of reminiscent of the one used in Firefox, which is quite a nice uh download manager as well. Another thing is tear off tabs. You can grab a tab and you can tear it off into another window. Again, this is a feature that you can do in pretty much every other browser, so it's a shame it's taken them this long to actually be able to use this feature. But now that they finally have it, it means that it's caught up with the other browsers. But these are the only real new new features, so it's a shame they haven't gone beyond other browsers. It's just sort of, it almost feels like it was just a catch-up effort. Also, when you're managing your add-ons and tabs, you've got toolbars and extensions here. You can see all of the uh, toolbars that you can add and all of the extensions. And it actually shows you the load time, so how much extra it takes to load this when you open Internet Explorer. So if there's any problems with speed and there's errors coming up, it will come up with this window and show you which ones are causing the problems. And it will show you a red bar for the ones that are taking the longest time. So if you're having performance issues because of these, then it's an easy way to point out what's causing the problem and to fix it for you. I haven't seen this in any other browser, so it's nice that they've uh, you know, added this feature, just so that you can save a bit of time if you really don't need that extra few bars on underneath here. So overall, behind this nice new interface, we have... Uh, a browser that's been refreshed with features that we've already seen in lots of other browsers so there's nothing new and exciting in the way of features if, you, if you've been using Firefox or Chrome or any other browser such as that but it's under the hood that's really making the difference now apart from the little annoyances that I was talking about earlier you can really see here in this benchmark why I didn't like IE8 you can see that this is an appalling benchmark and the, the lower the better and you can see here that this is absolutely pathetic uh, you know almost 4000 milliseconds so here's the uh, uh, IE9 demo, there's Firefox and as we go down there's Safari 5 and there's Firefox 4 and this is what I'm using now, the Internet Explorer 9 beta release there's Chrome 6 Opera 10.6 and the nightly build of Google Chrome 7. So it does look like Google Chrome 6 actually comes out on top and Opera 10.6. Uh, but overall, this is, you know, as you can see here, an absolutely incredible improvement from the previous version of Internet Explorer. And the graphics acceleration really does help on those separate websites. So even though there's not much in the way of new features, the new design is very nice, it's fixed a lot of those annoyances from Internet Explorer 8 and the performance is absolutely incredible for this particular browser.